Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Image on CostOS using Big Bear CostOS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today. I Image, it's a self-hosted backup solution for your photos and videos on your mobile device. The project is currently in very active development. Expect bugs and changes, it says, and do not use it the only way to store uh, photos and videos. Here, here's some screenshots of it. It's got a nice interface to it. Um, it has an Android application and an iOS application. Um, so um, you can see it on GitHub as well. If we go over to GitHub. So you can see that uh, it is very active development two hours ago. Um, it, it is open source. So uh, here, here's all the features it has. So that's what will be installed today. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. Uh, this is a third party app store for Cost OS that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps now. And also, I made a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but I'm going to go be going over in this video as well. Uh, the custom app store is only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here, and then I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get the App Store set up. So I'm going to start my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to Add Source over here. I'm going to click it, then a text input pops out. I'm going to paste it in, and then I'm going to say Add. Now it'll add the store, and we'll have 146 apps. So I'm going to go over to Categories. I do not see it yet, so I'm going to refresh the page. I'm going to go back in the App Store, go to Categories, and then Big Bear Cost OS. Now you'll see all the apps in Big Bear Cost OS that you can install. And you know it's coming from Big Bear Cost OS because of the category down here. So we got it done. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to Apps. And then I'm going to scroll down to Image, and then Docker Compose. So the Cost OS app name is Big Bear Image, and then I'm going to set services, and then the first service underneath the services is called Image Server. Um, the container name is going to be called Image Server. The image is coming off GitHub, uh, and you, you know that because of ghcr.io, and the Image app, Image Server. So this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then the command is start.sh and then image. The, the ports are 2283 is on the host and 3001 is on the container. Volumes are data, app data, app ID, which is dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up here, and then upload. So this is on the host. The right, the right side is on the container. So USR, source, app, upload. The environment variables are uh, a DB host name, DB username, D a DB password, D a DB da a database name, the DB uh, the DB port, the Redis host name, the image machine learning uh, URL. So that rhymes with the, uh, the the service name down here and the container name. And also, uh, it depends on the Redis and the database to be up. These uh, should align with uh, the the service down here, the database service, right here. And then um, the Redis is right here. So, um, and then uh, the Redis host name is image or Redis, which aligns with the service name and the 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 container name down there. And I'm going to set a restart policy on this one, as, as always. So that means that if you stop it or any other reason, then it will always restart. I'm going to set some X cost information down here. 
So this explains the environment variables, the volumes, the ports. Then I'm going to come down here and put another service, image microservices. The container name is going to be called image microservices. The image is coming off GitHub, just like uh, the other one. And then uh, this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then uh, the command is start sh and the microservices of volumes down here. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten for the name up there and then upload. So this is on the host side and on the container side is USR source app upload. This is the same uh, a database information that should align with the Postgres down there. And then uh, the Redis host name, which is down there. This container does depend on the Redis and the database. The restart policy is the same always. The cost of specific information for explaining the environment variables and the volumes. And then now uh, the image machine learning, uh, that the container name is going to be called image machine learning. The image is coming off of, off of GitHub. And then this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The volumes down here are set. So data, app data, diamond variable, which is got for the name up there. And then um, uh, the name right here. And then uh, if we come down here again uh, to uh, mo model cache, so this is on the host side and this is on the container side, the, the left side and the right side, the left side's on the host, the right side's on the container with, with ports and volumes. The environment variable should match the da database, the Postgres down there and the Redis. The restart policy is the same. And then the cost so as specific information right here. So this explains the environment variables and the volumes. Now we're coming down here to the Redis. So it's coming off of Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. And it's Redis in 6.2. And then it's using Alpine. The restart policy is going to be the same always. And then a, da a database is a po Postgres. Uh, the container name is going to be called Image Postgres. And then the image is coming off Docker Hub because there's no year before this. And this is the Docker image. And then this is the Docker image tag. And then the environment variables uh, are set. So Postgres password, Postgres user, and Postgres DB. The, P the PG data, which is the actual container side. So that's the cont container path. And then the volumes are set, so data, app data, dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name up there. And then PG data, this is on the host side. And then var lib Postgres uh, QL, and then data is on the container side. Restart policy is the same, all, always. And then the cost of specific information for the environment variables and the volumes. And then more cost of specific information uh, for the architectures that the Docker images support. The main arrives with the service name up here. Uh, uh, image a, ser a server right, right here. And then um, the, the description, the tagline, the developer, the author of the Docker Compose, and the icon are being used. The thumbnail, which is empty right now, the title, the, ca the category, so people can find all the Big Brick Cost OS apps by looking by the category. The port, uh, the port map, uh, so this is 2283. That rhymes with the container up here. 2283 is on the host, and then 3001 on the container. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to uh, start my Cos OS, going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to search box, type in image. And then you, you know it's coming from Big Bear Cos OS because of the category down here. So I'm going to go into it and then I'm going to install. Now it's going, to, it's going to download the Docker images from the registry, get them extracted, and get them up with Docker Compose underneath. This will, uh, this will take a bit because it's quite a bit of cont containers it's got to download. 
So now we got it up and running and it's good to go. So now I'm going to show you where the files are located. So uh, if you start on Cross OS, you go in the Files app, you go to App Data, Big Bear Image. So this is where your files are located, Model Cache, a PDV data, and then Upload. Um, so you can go back to Big Bear Image. You can go to the check mark up here. You can download, copy, cut, could delete, cancel. You can also go up the top right, download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete. You can go into them and you can see the data. You can go backwards. And then um, you can go into each one, see more data, and then go into upload. We got no uploads right now, but you would probably see them in there. So that's where the files are located. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So if you go up this top right, uh, vertical dots, um, you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. So you can go down this edit button right here. You can set something in here and then you press save. It'll reload the container in the background and uh, eventually say image is okay now. So um, you can go into settings. You can cha change some settings in each one of these containers and then press the save button. You can also go into the ter terminal and, and then there you go. And then you can see the logs, great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose right here. Um, so I'm gonna exit that. You can check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm gonna go to the UI. So you can open it from here or you can go over here and open it. So now it's gonna say welcome to image a web. So you can get started. You can type in a email and then you can put a password in and then you can put your name in and then you can sign up. So now you put the same exact info that you just put in. So now password, log in. Now it's going to uh, say that there is a new version. Uh, acknowledge uh, the versions change pretty frequently. Um, so you, you can uh, upload images here. You can explore, you can see a map, you can share, you can fa uh, fa fa favorite uh, items, albums, archive, trash. You can see the storage, the status, the version that you're using. You can empty the trash, restore all. You can go up here to administration and you can create new users. You can edit the user here. You can also see the jobs that are running. You can see the settings. There's quite a few settings going on. And then a, ser a server stats, you can see the photos, the videos, storage. You can repair, untracked missing files will show up here. Um, a refresh. You can also go into the account settings and you can change your account settings right here. And then you can uh, go, go, go to the libraries, the memories, the, you can change your password, sharing, and the sidebar. So that's how to get image working on Cos OS. And roll the bloopers. Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install image on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS, the third party app store. So uh, if, <clears throat> hello. So I hope you enjoyed the bloopers. And if you did make a comment down below and let me know if you uh, want me to do some more of them at the end of the videos now, from now on. So uh, video is not easy. And uh, I want to show, I guess the behind the scenes parts. So stay tuned for more. So I just went over installing Image on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.